readers asked me how I put the greenery on my chandeliers in my house. So I thought I would make a quick video showing just how easy it is because it really is simple. I just put greenery on the chandelier and that's pretty much it. So um, I do start with um, some roping and I think what this does is it sort of gives a sort of a foundation for the rest of the greenery. It gives me something to tuck everything into. If I was just using branches, it might be a little too loose. So this is just some roping that is a mixture of a cedar and a white pine. I got it from Wegmans. You can get these at the grocery store, at um, even at like tree farms and stuff like that, or a hardware store. And I've got a length cut that's gonna wrap around maybe like one and a half times. You don't want this to get too thick and bulky. And I'm just sort of loosely wrapping it on the arms of the chandelier. And then I want to press down the branches to make sure that none of them are coming in contact with any of the lights. Even though these lights don't get super hot, it's just, it's just not a good idea to have lights and greenery together, if you can help it. Okay, and then, so, I mean, you could just leave it at this, really, but I like them to look a little bit fuller. I'm making sure that the greenery is sort of hanging down in an even way, so there's not like one big branch hanging down on one side. Um, I'm going to tuck in some more white pine sprigs. And I'm literally just sort of tucking them into the roping that I just put up there. So this is the kind of thing you get into place and you just leave it, like don't touch it. <laughs> It'll get kind of dry and crispy and you will make a mess while you're doing it. Like I do this on the chandelier that's over our bed in the master bedroom. And what I'll do is I'll put an old blanket over it, over the bed first, and then I'll do all this, and then I'll shake the blanket out. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add some, these are some trimmings from our Christmas tree, and I have some juniper and boxwood, and I'm just gonna kinda tuck those around. I think the key to mixing greenery so it looks really great is to, whoops, <laughs> is to, um, to really to mix it so that you have a lot of different varieties. Even though it's all green, some of it's more blue-green, some is yellow-green, um, some of them are, um, you know, you have sort of the more needly ones, you have feathery branches, and by Putting leaves together that have a bunch of different texture, it just looks a lot more interesting than using all white pine or all cedar. So I like to mix in as many varieties as I can. And I like to finish off my greenery with these real feathery branches. I have this tree in my yard, so I'm always going out there and cutting off of it when I'm decorating for Christmas. Um, I think this is some kind of a cedar. I'm not really sure. Maybe some of you know what these leaves are. But I found that these are just fantastic for filling. They just provide a lot of... Um, I don't know, they're just really full. Oh, we, we got a jumper. There we go. They're just really full, and I like to sort of, they're easy to sort of thread over the lights like that and to dangle them. And then what I would suggest doing is every once in a while take a step back and make sure that it looks even and that it's looking the way you want it to. And don't overthink it too much. Um, 
It's supposed to be just very loose and a little wild. Um, and it looks so pretty when you stand underneath it to see the little crystals peeking through the greenery. And again, just do a last double check to make sure you keep the greenery away from the bulbs. And you're all set and it'll stay like this for a few weeks. I leave mine up usually from around after Thanksgiving to maybe just a few days after Christmas and um, it'll just sort of dry. So of course when you take it off it's just going to fall to a crisp. Uh, but it'll look good while it's, um, while it's hanging here. And that's how you can deck a chandelier for Christmas.